Hello everybody and welcome to Word of Mouth Theatre, video reviews to help spread word of mouth about some of the beauty and magic that can be found within live theatre. These reviews have been made to help create new and build on existing audiences for theatre and help spread awareness for some of the fabulous shows and venues that are putting on some amazing experiences of entertainment for people, not just nationally but globally. In this episode I'm going to be talking about Earthfall's Chelsea Hotel and this is a contemporary dance theatre performance that was at the Lowry in Manchester on Tuesday the 19th of November 2013. Chelsea Hotel, for anybody who doesn't know, is a famous landmark and hotel in New York. It was originally opened in 1884 and over the years it's been home to many famous artists, creative people and musicians and there's many stories of legends, of scandal and of events that have happened within the walls of the hotel. Some of those interesting events and people who have stayed there include it was the place allegedly where Dylan Thomas died of pneumonia. It was the place where Sid Vicious from the Sex Pistols' girlfriend at the time, Nancy Spungen, died and was found murdered after she was stabbed to death. And it was also the place where Arthur Clarke wrote 2001 A Space Odyssey. It was a place where Arthur Miller wrote a piece about called The Chelsea Effect. And some other famous artists who have stayed at the hotel include Bob Dylan, Patti Smith and Iggy Pop. Now, Chelsea Hotel in 2013 is actually closed for refurbishment, but you can still inquire about if you want to go into the hotel and do a photography shoot or a film shoot. And there is apparently still some long-term residents within the hotel, people that have just stayed in the hotel and used it, if you like, as a second home. This is something that the hotel no longer does, and there's still lots of uh, controversy and propaganda surrounding the hotel as many people want the hotel just to carry on as it is as a functioning hotel and other people because of the nostalgia and the history within the people that have stayed there and the culture of the years want it to be turned into a museum. So some of the things that are going to happen as I experienced within this performance of Chelsea Hotel by Earthfall as I walked into the theatre towards the left hand side of the stage just as the show was about to open to the audience there was a large bed and on that bed were the cast members which was predominantly two ladies and three guys and they were just chilling around, mingling around on the bed just creating intriguing shapes and motions with their body expressions and facial movements and then behind them there was some people who were like, if you like, bands that were behind the bed they had drum kits and a couple of guitars and then on the centre stage there was a large projection screen and then towards the right of the stage there was an American style fridge and a table and chairs and then also a station if you like with a chair and with a camera and um, with just if you like a light a stage light which was an interesting style it gave off the look of a traditional photographic camera that might have been the type of camera people might have used on photography shoots um, in some of the nostalgic days of the hotel and it's just great uh, combination of things that are just going to light up the stage and work with the rest of the performers and with the choreography with the lights and with the music just to create a great audience experience of performance within this show now it's necessary to mention that most of us have stayed in a hotel People go to a hotel for many reasons and have different experiences depending on the reasons they're there. You might be going there on your own, you might be going there as part of a family, you might be going there with your friends, you might be going there with your lover, you might be just going there with a group of people to do creative projects, maybe people are doing things like making music, people have written in the hotel as they have in the nostalgic days as, as they might do now. And it's just interesting to represent that some of the many scenes and the many stories that are told within this hotel are representing the events that happened previously, but also the events that are happening in today's environment. You're going to see scenes of individuality, scenes of love, scenes of hate, scenes of relaxation, scenes of experimentation, scenes of joy, scenes of people being at one with themselves, scenes where people are in an environment where they can be creative, scenes 
scenes where it's people's little hideaway and this just gets represented really nicely on the stage and things like the band playing in the hotel room this just not only portrays a good image and a nice if you like thing to coincide with the dance and the movement this is what things would have happened like in the hotel if the band members there that stopped there and written music they would have just been lounging around in the hotel just playing their music as they were and it's if you like just you're in a place where you're in, in a mixture of the, the time of the now and the time in the past when it's really taking you back in time and reliving and retelling this history and it's got to be mentioned as well that there's some really nice projections on the screen um, just really subtle it's not done too much and it just blends in well with the rest of the performance some of the things you're going to see on there are things like a projection of a large ceiling fan that really helps to open up the stage and give the effect that you're in a large grand hotel room and also you're going to see some images of windows which again portrays a nice image of being in a large hotel room and being somewhere high up and then there's also some images of things like the cast as they are now some traditional scenes possibly from the hotel as well and some art deco pop art style images of things like decorations around the hotel things like the carpets things like the wallpaper and just some interesting colors and shapes on there and it's also got to be said that the live camera that's on the right hand stage of the stage just does a good job of people who are if you like narrating and reading poetry within the scenes in the show um, it's nice to see that and interesting to watch that happen and it's also happening live so it's a great element of live there that you're being shown within the performers in the show that are projecting this image to the audience so it's a great show it's got some great examples of dance that I would say are influenced by tap, ballet, ballroom, things like Fred Astaire and it's just all synchronised really well, it's fused really well been choreographed fabulously and the performers do great examples of bringing this story to the stage that many people can get lots of insight into and just build their own representations of what they want to learn and understand from the story. So I'm just going to have a look at a little chocolate that you're going to receive if you go and see this show. If you have a look at that it's just got the logo from the show Chelsea Hotel and if we look at that it just says uh, download the Earthfall app from your smartphone app store then scan the image inside this wrapper so if we open this up we're going to apparently see an image which you can see there and I haven't downloaded this app yet I'm going to go and have a look at it after I've made this review but apparently you can scan this image and find some hidden scenes within the show and it's something where you can find out more information about the company and about the contemporary dance performances that they do so I think this is a really good example of the company having people interact with the show and having an app where people can use modern technology in their home at their own convenience just to help get some information about the show and about contemporary dance that will help to inform them about some of the magic that they're going to see on the stage so if we just look at the program now this is just an image from the program you can see there there's an image of a girl in a black dress who is coming out of, if you like, a tiled lino effect floor that could be a bathroom. I think this is a good image. Um, this interested me to find out more about the show and then I have to see in the show. I'm pleased with the experience that I've had. And if we open up the program, you'll see a couple more images that I'm going to put for people to see. Hopefully you can see those. Um, the top image just shows a projection screen with the large bed um, with one of the ladies, um, if you like, mid-air, doing a dance movement mid-air. And then there's a guy who's just relaxing and chilling out on a retro-style bar stool. Um, the image we see here is just of one of the guys swinging one of the girls around there in one of the dance performances and sequences. And then this image that we see here is just of a girl in a denim jacket with sort of a casual style top, um, some white tights, and she's just leading a guy around who is just like, uh, if you like, a dog. He's just uh, there in his jeans and he's got something around his neck. And then the bottom image here is just of some guys that are just chilling out and relaxing on the hotel floor. Um, there were some nice costumes in this production that represented, again, the now and some of the things people might have worn in the past. The girls had things like polka dot dresses, nightgowns, um, casual 
if you like bottoms, leggings and also tops. Some of the guys as well have things like casual jeans, casual footwear and worn style tops that uh, worked well with their representation of character and also the people in the band as well. So this is a show that's really good, it appeals to a large range of audiences, young and old, and there's something for everybody to enjoy and everybody can have a great experience when you see this show. Check it out if you can, you'll have a great time. A couple of websites to mention, a couple of Google searches. If you Google Earthfall Chelsea Hotel, you can find out information about the show and about the company. If you Google Earthfall Chelsea Hotel app, you can be taken to the app store of your smartphone and download the free app. And if you Google Chelsea Hotel New York, you can find out some information about some of the interesting stories and history about the hotel. And if you Google the Lowry Theatre Manchester, you can find out some information about the fabulous venue and forthcoming shows and just events that are happening for all people of all ages. And it's necessary to mention that there's something for everyone to enjoy within theatre. You can go on your own, you can take your girlfriend, take your boyfriend, take your husband, take your wife, go as a group, the group trips that get arranged for schools, or just group theatre trips. And the important thing to mention here is that for something for everybody to enjoy, it's affordable, it's accessible, and it's something that more people should experience. So... Remember to check out what's happening at your local theatres and amateur dramatic societies. Get involved, go and see a show and tell somebody about it to help spread word of mouth about the beauty and magic that can be found within live theatre. It's about time to sign out now, so enjoy the show and see you next time.